include Christians, Muslims, and traditional religions, all claim to have answers. But even those within each major religion do not all agree with one another about what to teach. And this adds to the confusion and sometimes even leads to conflict. My name is John Reese, president of World Bible School. Regardless of what religion you practice, I have a special offer for you. It will enable you to overcome the confusion and to learn about simple Christianity, the original Christianity as described in the Bible. Clearly written lessons will be mailed to you free of charge. These attractive lessons will guide you in a personal study of the Bible. To help you understand the material, you will answer questions about each lesson. All such questions are based just on the words of the Bible itself. A teacher will be assigned to you. You will mail your answers to the teacher. You may also ask your teacher any additional questions you may have about the lessons. When you finish the lessons, you will receive a certificate of completion. This offer may seem too good to be true. A guided tour of the Bible, using booklets and interacting with your own teacher, free of charge, but it is true. All you have to do is go to www.africanpathways.org, click on contact us and request your first free booklet from World Bible School. Be sure to give a full, clear address to which we can post the lessons. We have special literature for Muslims who want to learn about the original Christianity of the Bible, so let us know if you want that course. Contact us today. Thank you. If you do not have internet access, please write to WBS Private Mail Bag, A6115, Evan Harare, Zimbabwe, for your free Bible course. God's message of faith, hope, and love. The Bible is the world's most popular book, with sales of more than 100 million copies per year. The Bible is actually composed of 66 books in two great divisions. 39 books in the Old Testament and 27 books in the New Testament. In this segment of Profiles of the New Testament, Bob Bortin gives us an overview of one of these 27 great books. The Apostle John was an old man. He had lived his life in the service of his Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. Now